On Friday, June 14, a new chapter in the history of South African democracy was written. While the outgoing president, Cyril Ramaphosa, was re-elected to a second term by the National Assembly, the rest of the country is in for a change. The African National Congress, the dominant force in South African politics since the end of apartheid, was forced to form a coalition to retain power and finally sign an agreement with the main opponent, the Democratic Alliance, to govern the country together in a government of national unity. The South African Liberation Party, which won just 40% of the vote compared to 57% in 2019, has invited all parties to the negotiating table, acknowledging that it has lower power after suffering a major setback following the May 29 elections. This initiative, aimed at forming a majority in the Assembly, came to fruition on Friday morning with the signing of the agreements by the DA, the country's second largest political force, which won 21.8% of the votes in the elections. The agreement paves the way for a refocusing of political life around the country's two main forces, although smaller parties have also joined. The development was agreed with the sign of the relief of the financial markets, which had feared an alliance with the economic freedom fighters, the party of former President Jacob Zuma, two populist formations linked to various corruption scandals and advocating radical economic reforms.